Okay, a little bit of Excel orientation here for those of you who are familiar with how to use Excel. Um, we are just going to move through these cells and what we've done is we've preset these cells to calculate things for you. So in this example one, if you notice here, when I move my cursor into that cell, it will average everything from C8 to E8. So that means that it is averaging the three different velocity measures, and of course it's zero, but in this case here, you have 0 0.08, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, and the average is 0 0.04. So this function was um, developed to account for those three values. And I'm going to hit escape. And then I'm going to show you how this function here, and if you click in here, what it does is it highlights all the cells that pertain to that function. And so here what you see is it equals velocity in blue times um, depth in red, right, times A10 minus A9. So we're trying to get the width. So the width is one meter, but it does the math for you. Um, and then here is the depth, so and velocity. So remember, discharge is area times velocity. And to get our area, we need our depth and our width. Now I'm going to hit escape again. And here we go. If I click in this cell, you'll see the um, equation is already pre-built for you. So all you need to do if we go to this sheet here is just enter in numbers. Oh, and it should they add things up for us, but it's not because for some reason I'm noticing that the average function wasn't set up here. So here's how you do this. You type in equals average from the parentheses and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and select these three cells those are the three that I want to average shift close the parentheses enter so now what I'm getting now is an average of C8 to E8 now let's say I want to do that I want to apply the same function throughout for each row so what you can do is you can drag on the little bottom right square and drag that all the way down so now don't worry about this it's confused because there's no values but as you enter numbers i'm just randomly entering numbers it will start to calculate um averages for you now if we actually had some distance numbers so i'm going to just add some distance numbers and let's say we're going here it's uh, 35 and here it's 46. Notice how what it's doing is it's translating that, you know, this really doesn't make any sense. 46 meters depth. Okay, <laughs> let's change this because this is not a good example. So let's go like this. Um, and let's make this one 10. Okay, so notice how it's calculating discharge for you because again that is already set up as a function okay i hope that's helpful um uh, that's it for now